Hello guys, in this class, we're going to start a new series of class, which is called your word, your thermal word expansion. And of course, this will be our lesson one. In the last class, we've, we have finished everything about heat and um, heat and temperature. And sure you watch that everything is complete in the app, sit down, put yourself together and watch it. In this class, we'll be diving deep into thermal expansion, a very uh, simple interesting topic and take on that we have the notes we have the past questions everything in the app so after watching the videos go through your play the cbt of it are you seeing a play the past question of it and uh, so that you'll be very 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 good are you seeing that quickly thermal expansion before we start let's just give a bit of history now the word thermal that this word thermal means heat and the word expansion talk about increase in size. So when something is expanding, it's increasing in size. So we want to talk about the expansion of a material, the expansion of matter, the expansion of all objects due to heat. It's called thermal expansion. What do we say? It has to do with the expansion of an object or the expansion of matter. We use matter majorly in physics. Because matter is entity that has to and occupy space. So the expansion of matter as a result of increase in temperature or as a result of heat, because what causes heat is simply the temperature, is what to call your, your thermal expansion. Do you understand? Just have a clue. In this first part, one, we're going to be introducing it and having the basis of what thermal expansion is. Are you with me? Of course, what do we see thermal expansion? We say thermal means heat and expansion means increase in size. So what's thermal expansion? It is the tendency of matter to increase in dimension or size in response to change in temperature. When matter increase in dimension or size, it responds to temperature. It's what we call what expansion. What is causing the expansion increase in temperature? Now, take note that um, um, when expansion is not something that is permanent, for example, when, when I mean it's not permanent, it's now when, it, when the temperature of a body increases, the body expands. When the temperature of that body reduces, the body contracts. Please understand the difference between expansion and contraction. Expansion and contraction. So this is contraction. So both of them are opposite of each other. To increase in size, you are, you are expanding. To reduce in size, you are what you are contracting. So they are opposite of each other. So when temperature increases, the body expands. When temperature falls or reduces, the body will contract. Do you understand that? Now, what is the cause of expansion? What is the cause of contractions? All eyes on the diagram. You can see that we have three states of matter. Of course, we said that ten. Uh, Thermal expansion is, is the tendency of, him, of matter to increase in size. It's to change in what in temperature. What is to increase in what in temperature. Now we have solid, we have liquid, we have gases. Now what makes up solid? The first thing that makes up solid is that you can see that solid, the molecules that make up solid are tight fixed together. Are you seeing that? Because they are, the molecules are tight fixed together, movement of the molecules of solid is rare because of the what the, the the bondings between the molecules of solid now if we go to liquid we can see that liquid the molecules are sparse there are spaces so which can make the molecules of liquid to move apart now look at gases gases is, is worse the molecules in gases can easily move about because they are what they are space so this is one thing that differentiates solid from liquid and from gases why the the, the 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 molecules the the motion of their molecules we said that in solid the molecules are, are tight fixed they are together but in liquid the molecules are free but not as free as compared to all two gases where the, the molecules can move from one place to another now what happens if temperature is ignited to this substance let's say for example we increase temperature this temperature can be fire so let's call this as fire so now what in this first case, as we increase the temperature, what happens? This molecule starts to gain kinetic energy. Remember that in solid they are tight. So they start to gain kinetic energy. The more you are heating this solid, the more these this pa uh, particles gain kinetic energy and they start to, to gain motion. They start to want to move. As the temperature is increasing, they are moving. They are moving. As they are moving, they are breaking 
away from the bond. There's a bond holding them to make them together. So as the temperature is being increasing, they are breaking away from the bond. As they are breaking away from their bond, they are trying to move. Because they are moving, the particles start to what to expand. Are you seeing that? That's what we call your word expansion. What causes expansion? It is when the molecules of that matter starts to gain heat. As they start to gain heat, they start to break the bond, holding them together, making them to start to what to move. That movement is what is causing what expansion. So if we also do the same thing here, we apply heat, that's a fire. What happened? Liquid already have free movement. If you increase it, their movement is going to what to increase the more. So they are going to what to move more than solid. That is why liquid expands more than solid. Why? Because they already have space. Heating them is making them to gain more space. That means to ignite themselves and start to move. Why? Now let's now come to gases. So gases have more, 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 more space. So expansion in gases is going to be more than expansion in what in liquid. Expansion in liquid is going to be more than expansion in what in solid. Do you understand? What causes expansion as the this increase in temperature, this increase in temperature start to break the molecular, the bonds holding the molecular forces. As the bond holding the molecular forces starts, as the bond is being broken, this uh, molecule start to what to hit themselves. They start to move. This movement is what causes what expansion. Do you understand that? Now let's now put that in writing. Now look at it, guys. Let's explain the concept of thermal expansion. Please understand it. Don't cram understand it. Are you seeing that? Take note that when solid liquid and gases are heated they expand and when they are cool they contract we explained that that you need to understand them between expansion and contraction when um, solids liquid and gases when they absorb heat they what they expand when they cool or that means that it falls or withdraw what happens they what they contract now take note that this is so because of kinetic molecular theory look at it kinetic of course you know what kinetic means kinetic means motion so molecular that's the kinetic movement of their molecules that's why it's called a kinetic molecular theory what does it state which says that when objects are heated their molecules acquire kinetic energy which makes them to overcome their molecular forces we said that this kinetic energy make them to break their forces they have to make them to overcome their forces thereby causing vibration of these molecules and displacement from their world from their main position that's what causes expansion have you seen that when they are heated what happened when we say that when they are when objects are heated their molecules gain what kinetic energy and this kinetic energy help them to break their bond and because their bond is broken it causes vibration in these molecules which now causes displacement from their world from their moving position that displacement because they are moving now they are expanding they are, one is moving this one is moving. that's what we call your word expansion are you catching the knowledge now? And also, Hold on a bit very quickly. This class you're watching right now is just one out of a series of classes within the LearnLift app. And guess what? LearnLift is a mobile app, right? Where you study intensively as well as extensively. So within the LearnLift app, you can see it very quickly. You have access to all your subject there. You have your use of English. You have your mathematics. You have your physics. You have your chemistry. You have your biology. You have your Jam 400. All of them, they are different subjects within the LearnLift app. And of course, you have different topics under every particular subject. And everything has been narrowed down to you, down to the curriculum with their past questions and everything to the core. And don't forget that within the LearnLift app, you have access to your what? Your video lessons where you can start going through your classes uninterrupted you have access to your notes oh yes your notes well organized well structured for you and you are running through all of them and of course inside the notes are past questions for you you have access to your past questions in cbt format where you can go through all of them extensively well all of it within the LearnLift app for you and more. <laughs> and guess what? Very important. You want to download the LearnLift app. All you need to just do is head down to Play Store or your App Store and type LearnLift. That's all. Once you type LearnLift, of course, the app is going to pop up for you and you're going, you're going to see the logo and then you download the app and then you follow up on your studies intensively. Before we proceed, let's get back to class. Flow with me. Are you catching the knowledge now? And also take note that the increase in displacement of these molecules depend on the strength of the intermolecular forces. If the intermolecular forces are strong, just like solids are explaining solid, the intermolecular forces are strong. 
So the movement will not be as, as random compared to what? To liquid. Liquid already have space. So when heat is applied, they can move. They move more than what the space already have. They, they vibrate around their main position. Unlike gases, gases have a lot of space. So when heat is applied, they move far. far. That's why we say that gases expands more than liquid. And liquid expands more than solid. Do you understand that? So we said the increase in displacement of molecules depends on the strength of their intermolecular forces. If the intermolecular, if the intermolecular forces are strong, the expansion will be small and vice versa. Do you understand that? That means if the, the intermolecular forces are strong, the, 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 the movement of the particles will be small. That's compared to what to liquid that have space of their molecular forces. So they can, well, they can move more. Are you seeing that? Now, tell them that the intermolecular forces are stronger in solid than liquid and weaker in gases. Now, we are talking about their intermolecular forces, not their expansion. Because we said that the intermolecular forces is what determines your expansivity. Are you seeing that? So, the intermolecular forces in solids are stronger because they are bound together. And the intermolecular forces in liquid is stronger than what than gases. So, when the expansion comes, who is going to have more expansion? Starting from the one that is going to have the highest expansion is gases. Why? Because the intermolecular forces are weak. So they can move more than where they were. Why? From gases before your what? Before your liquid and solid is the last. Why is solid the last? Because they have strong intermolecular what? force. Do you understand that? Now, I'm going to give you some mental picture you should know. But take note that hence, heat is when it is applied, gases expand more than liquid. And liquid expands more than solid. Are you seeing that? This is what I've been trying to hear to explain to you that gases expand more than liquid and liquid expands more than solid. But in terms of molecular forces, who have the stronger molecular forces? Solid. After solid, before liquid, before what? Gases. And you know that when heat comes, what does, does heat do? It helps to break the intermolecular forces and increase their kinetic movement. That's the kinetic movement of the water of the molecules. Are you seeing that? So when you come to solid, Solid, the intermolecular forces are strong. So their expansion will not be that compared to what to liquid. So if they ask you in terms of solid, liquid, and gases, who will have the highest expansion? Gases. Gases expand more than liquid. And liquid expand more than what than solid. They ask you who have the strongest intermolecular water force. Solid has the highest intermolecular force. After solid, we have liquid. And for liquid, we have what the gas. Do you understand? That is what causes what expansion. I want you to have the mental picture on your head. That what we say external expansion simply means increase in size of your body due to heat. How does heat influence that? Heat heat up their molecules and breaks their bond. And by the time it breaks their bond, the molecules start to what to vibrate around their main position. That vibration is what goes to what expansion. That's the simplest way you can understand it. Do you understand? Now I want you to also to view this thing I'm saying. I want you to watch this. See this. What are the states of matter? Are you seeing that? Take note that we say matter can be solid, liquid, and gas. You can see solid, their molecules are, are tight together, so they cannot really move compared to what? To liquid. And you see gases are moving more randomly. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? This is what happens. Now, if we now apply heat to these molecules, let's apply heat to these molecules. You see us applying heat to the molecules. Look at this. These molecules are vibrating now. They are vibrating. And because they are vibrating, they are expanding. The more we are increasing the heat, the more they are expanding. Are you seeing that? Their motion is more. They increase the more. They increase the more. They increase the more. They vibrate the more because of the heat. This is this vibration is what causes what expansion. The liquid or the the, the matter, that state of matter is what is expanding. They are, they are vibrating, they are expanding. Do you understand that? This is practically everything about what thermal expansion. I hope you understand it. This is just the introduction. So go through the notes, revise the CBT, tell a friend about the learn, learn lift app. For those writing Jam 350, for those writing YEC A+, and show you on the WhatsApp community. This is the first introduction. In our second class, we'll now go further talk about expansion in what in solids. And that's going to be our lesson too. I hope you've gotten the foundation. I'll see you in the next video for now. This class we just finished watching, of course, is brought to you by what? By the LearnLift app. Oh, yes. And within the LearnLift app, you have access to all your classes from the beginning to the end. Everything is well organized for you. Every singular subject, every singular topic followed in line directly with your syllabus and your curriculum. 
And of course, can I tell you something lovely about the LearnLift app? Oh, this is the sweet part of it. You have access to your jam classes within the LearnLift app. You have access to your WAEC, your NECO, your GC classes. You have access to your post TME classes. And that's not all. Of course, um, for your secondary school, you have access to your secondary school classes, whether SS1, SS2, SS3. You have access to your classes directly. And of course, if you're in the university, you have access to your 100 level as well as 200 level classes all within the LearnLift app. And of course, your 200 level classes are for medical students. All of them are there well structured and highly organized for you. But please, before you proceed, just head down to your Play Store or your App Store and just type what? LearnLift. Immediately you type LearnLift, of course, the app is going to pop up for you and you download the app and then you start learning immediately. And also very quickly, all you're going to do is that in the description of this video or in the comment section, just open it. You'll see the link to our WhatsApp channel. Click on it and you are in the WhatsApp channel already where I'm going to be dropping information every blessed day on a regular basis. And also very important, if you want to reach out to LearnLift, this is LearnLift contact, any of the two, right? Just copy it down and then WhatsApp us, right? Either you send WhatsApp message or you put a call across to us and all of that and we're going to attend to you immediately. Guess what? I'll see you in the next chapter. For the now, peace out. Bye.